Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Honey I Joined a Cult where last time we treated our followers to some maggots and here they are, some lovely lovely pools of maggots. Now on the face of it this does seem a little bit odd really doesn't it? We are here at the Covenant of the Cake where we celebrate everything cakey so some maggot pools do seem a little bit off topic shall we say but of course we all know that the maggots represent what happens when a cake is wasted. If you have a cake and you don't look after it properly and you let it go off and you let it go Moldy, then soon enough it will be crawling with maggots and that of course is a very bad thing indeed. We don't want to see that. In fact it's such a terrible thing that it's a sin in the eyes of the star baker themselves. So this room here teaches our followers to always respect the cake and also more importantly I would say to always eat the cake. If there is cake there to be eaten then you should be eating it. It's a very important lesson even if the room is slightly unpleasant because you know maggots aren't the nicest thing so whilst the room is a little bit kind of grim it does teach a very important lesson indeed. But anyway let's go away from the maggot shall we because you know they're a bit wriggly and horrible and sort of maggoty. What else is going on? I mean everything else is ticking over very nicely indeed. Lots of money, lots of faith, lots of influence, all this down here is looking wonderful. So I think what we'll do is we'll get time ticking on a bit and we shall see when everybody's up in the morning and all that kind of stuff we'll see if we can't get a few more missions done because they have been quite good. Who's that wandering about? Tom what are you up to? You're getting yourself a bit of a, I mean I was going to say a midnight snack but it's a bit late for that. You're getting yourself a 2.30am snack Tom. Okay, okay that's fine, you know, woke up a bit peckish. I would have thought you could have eaten before you went to bed but okie doke. Right let's get time moving on nice and quick. Let's get to the, uh, let's get to the mission and see what we can do. Actually hang on, hang on, did we not pick up some fancy objects? I'm pretty sure we picked up some fancy objects, hang on where are they? They are their ornaments aren't they? I thought we picked something up, a golden something or other. Okay, we've got a fruit bowl. Oh, okay, we've got another one. Okay, so we have a fruit bowl. That's very nice. That's, you know, some cake in the shape of fruit. Then we have a golden fish statue. Okay, and then just a regular golden statue. Okay, and they add five prestige each. Oh, that's very good indeed. Okay, right, so a few people in the comments have said that we should start adding more sort of prestige items to the Eternal Bakery just here, because that is a good thing. However, it already has a prestige of 27. That is not too bad at all. That's not actually that bad. I mean, what happens... Okay, hang on, let's put in... Uh, hang on, let's go back to ornament. Let's put in the fruit bowl. Let's just drop that into here. So we've got one of those kind of in reserve. So 27. Pop that over there for now. It only goes up to 28. So it's not really worth putting that in there, I do not think. Hang on, pause time for a second. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. I think we could deploy that somewhere else. I mean, maybe, maybe we should make this room a bit better. Let's make the lobby a bit better. We could put the fruit bowl on, on a table. We could have a similar sort of setup like this. So you could sit at a table with whatever that was, the puzzle box, was it? Yeah, puzzle box. Or you could sit at a table with a lovely bowl of cakey fruit on it. That'd be quite nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So hang on, let's just grab that very quickly. Pop that over here for now, and then we'll sort of rejig things as we go. Um, actually, do you know what we could do? And I was thinking about this last time and just didn't get round to it. Can we reposition the actual reception desk a little bit? So can we just pop that over there? Because I like the idea of people being able to sort of walk straight in, because our followers... They know what they're doing, they know where they're going. So they can come in, walk through these doors, walk through the middle and then go out these doors and get on with whatever it is they want to do. Because at the moment they have to kind of, you know, navigate their way around this big desk that's in the middle. So if we move that to the side, that means that we can have a little bit of a clear path in the middle and then we can set up a sort of similar arrangement over there. So hang on a second, what would they under? They would decor. So let's get, yeah, let's get a coffee table. So pop another table down and then have a comfy chair. Of course, they are increasing the prestige of that room. So it's on 26 right now. Hang on, is that just going to cap out? Hang on, what happens if we take that away again? Take that away. That's down to 24. Again, it's getting quite hard to increase the prestige of rooms with just items because, you know, there's only a certain amount of items you can put into a room to make it look fancy. But 26, that's okay. So newcomers will come in and go, ooh, this room is very prestigious. They are very good. They know what they're doing here. Um, where else can we put something? How about, how about in here? I'm just trying to think of rooms where everybody goes. Lots of people will go to the canteen. I think that's got, in fact, the bathroom could be a little bit fancier, couldn't it? The bathroom could be a bit fancier. Hang on, what else did we have? 
What about the, the dolphin? A dolphin's to do with water, and bathrooms involve lots of water. Could we not have the dolphin thing? Yeah, or the fish, whatever it is. Golden fish, golden dolphin. So 20, only up to 22. Do you know what that'll do? That'll do the job. That's okay. It's a little bit better. So that'll make them a little bit happy when, yeah, they need for a shower or go to the loo or whatever. Um, yeah, do we want that there? Do we want that there? I think, Joe, well, let's move that down here for now. Pop that there for now. That'll do the job. And then we have, what else have we got? A golden statue. Okay, how big is the golden statue? It's, uh, oh, it's tiny. It's a tiny thing, right? It's, it's like one of these things. It's like a cube or whatever. Okay, right. So I think we put that in there. And then, where's, is there a gap? Kind of a gap there. We could put something there. There is a gap there, actually, between the water cooler and the fantastic 1970s sort of lamp thing. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, let's get, let's do this. Let's grab ourselves a coffee table, pop a coffee table in. That did nothing for the prestige of that room. And then can we put down the, where is it again? Go back to ornament. Can we put that down into there? Does that make a difference? Up to 24. Do you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's better than nothing. And we could have put it in there. Do you know what? Future items, we'll try and... Yeah, we could have put them in these rooms as well. We'll do some more missions. We'll do some more missions. We'll grab some more fancy items and we shall put them into these rooms here. Because I imagine... I imagine, yeah, the recreation room is 22. The research room, 21. So they're not brilliant. The recruitment office is 11. That's a bit of a... This room is a bit grim down here. It's a bit of a drab room. Maybe we'll try and do that as well. What about these? That's only 18. Um, that's five. Why is that five? Oh, oh, I see. Because yes, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess on the floor there. That'll get sorted. That'll go back up soon enough. Right. Okay. So unpause time. Let's get stuff moving on. Everybody should wake up. Hello, everyone. A lovely new day. Um, I dreamt about a baby crying nonstop. I dreamt about eating nonstop. I dreamt about eating sand. <laughs> I dreamt about riding a giant horse. Everyone's having some crazy dreams. Stop eating the cheesecake before bed, you lot. Right, so everyone can have their sort of morning, their morning break. They can take their morning ablutions and hopefully everyone can, you know, get some food and get clean and go to the loo and have a shower and all that kind of stuff. It's everybody washing their hands. It looks like everyone's washing their hands so far. This is very good. And I think, uh, hang on, what time do you all start work? I can't quite recall. Um, eight o'clock. Okay, so when it gets to eight o'clock, we shall then send some people on missions. Okay, here we go. So missions, what can we do? We've got, we've got 482 PR. I kind of feel like we need to do a little bit more on that to push it over 500. So let's do a PR campaign. Ah, this requires two people. Can we do that? Can we find two people that could do this? Um, hang on, we could do right, Claire and Amy. They'd be good because they've got the right stats for that kind of thing. Yeah, okay, splendid. That works very well. Okay, right, you go off on a mission then, you two. And because it's nice and early, you'll be back by lunch. You'll be back by the time, it, you know, it's time to have some lunchtime cake. That's wonderful. Right, so they should be being, they, I think they're out now, aren't they? Yeah, there they go. They're sort of pootling off in that direction. Uh, and what are we researching? We are researching room boost, I think. Are we going to get that to move on to something else? Um, hang on a minute, where is room boost? Um, yeah, we're sort of getting that out of the way because that is kind of you know, on the next column of research does that lead to infirmary yeah okay that leads to infirmary that could be a handy thing although we haven't got anyone injured right now but we do see injuries pop up quite a lot faith cap could be quite good somebody else said something as well ah pool of revelations yes a few people in the comments have said that's very good so followers completing this room will have any traits they possess revealed that could be quite handy if we could see what the traits are of our potential followers that could then become cakes, that's very handy indeed. Hang on, I've been jibber jabbering away so long, I've forgotten that you were doing a thing. Hang on. Um, yeah, absolutely. In you come. You participated in an Info In Face Now magazine segment about tending wounds with elastic bands at the newspaper offices. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that's medically sound, but yeah, you can get all sorts of injuries whilst you're making a cake, while you know, you're mixing the cake mix or whatever. You could get a nasty bruise. So maybe they're talking about that. I don't really know. Um, okay. So now can we do a heat reduction mission? Are we able to do this? Reduce your heat uh, by doing an interpretive dance at the attorney's office. <laughs> I like how we just go and do some strange dances at people and they go, do you know what? Those cakes. 
They're okay, actually. They're absolutely fine. Let's leave them alone. Good dancing. Um, okay, Anna, the other thing is, do we have anybody that can do this? Because Amy is normally our go-to person. Alexander, 45%. Megan, uh, oh, Megan has a 100% chance of success. Yes, Megan, make it so. Go and do that, please. Okay, that's good. So we now have over 500 PR, and we're going to lose a bit of heat, which is marvellous. Lots of people in here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Something in here has gone horribly, horribly wrong in the Eternal Bakery. Oh, the, the lectern's broken, which means the entire room is now out of action. Um, Emma. Emma, where are you, Emma? We need we need Emma to go and fix that. Kind of urgently. Emma, yeah. You, uh, you need to go and fix that, please. Really, really urgently, because this here is a source of influence and everything else. There we go. Splendid. Right, everyone, back in. Back in we go. Go and do some worship, please. I mean, I suppose that made these other rooms quite popular at the time. But there we go. I mean, look at the money. The money is just absolutely tumbling in. It is marvellous to behold. Um, yes, that mission is not quite done yet, but the research is done. Okay, so let's scroll over. Right, so room boost. So our leader can now boost the skills of anyone entering a room at the cost of influence. Okie doke. So now I think we need to get... Can we get that? Um, it seems we can. I would have thought that that would have been a prerequisite of it. But it seems like it's not. Hang on. Yeah, that's that's got to be a bit of a bug, hasn't it? It says two out of two. We've got the lion coming up from Faith Cap, but we haven't unlocked the Faith Cap yet. Do you know what? I'm going to do it properly. That is, that's clearly a bug. Something's gone wrong there. We'll do it properly, game. Don't you worry. We'll get the Hypno Chamber research done. Then we'll get the Faith Cap research done. And then we'll get the Pool of Revelations. I don't want to sort of cheat. That, does, that seems a little bit wrong. So, um, yeah, Hypno Chamber. Now, followers completing this room will receive a random trait. Ah, okay. It doesn't say whether it's a good trait or a bad trait, however. Do you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Get that done, please. If only so we can then get to the uh, the room of revelations or whatever it is and actually have a look at people's traits. We might be able to pick some good people rather than you know, picking the slightly less good people that we've had so far. Although some of them are you know, all right, we can actually pick people that have decent, good, solid, helpful traits. That would be very wonderful indeed. Um, okay, right. So have we got... Yep, so you can come back. Right, so heat reduction. What are we on now? 151. Down to 117. 34 heat down. That's very good. Can we go and do a final object acquisition mission? Uh, Joe, I don't think we should. Because I think whoever we send on that mission is going to miss the sermon which makes them a bit sad. So, oh, someone's leveled up, though. Oh, my goodness me. Felix. Felix can only get to level three. Okay, so he's you know, he's on level two already. Um, Felix, what are you what are you doing? What exactly is your primary job, Felix? I can't quite recall because you're not doing anything right now. You're eating right now. Um, hang on. Hang on. Uh, look at the list of things. Felix. Oh, there's two people with level up. <gasps> Amy's leveled up. Oh, she's very good. She is... Ah, she's in the... Ma uh, he's in the maggot place. Okay, so the maggot room, the lovely, lovely maggot room uh, is empathy and retail because it's very important to have empathy toward maggots for reasons. Okay, so Felix, you can have a point of empathy and a point of retail. Why not? And... Oh. Oh, hang on. That seemed to imply that... What's that then? Amy's leveled up and has no skill points to spend. Hooray! <laughs> Why is that? Why do we have no skill points to spend? I feel like the game has done us over a bit there. Okay, never mind. It's all fine. It's all fine. Amy's very good anyway. Amy's absolutely brilliant. So there we go. Um, right. When is everyone going to come into here? Just want to check what the sermon's going to be like. Want to make sure that we're doing some good sermons. And then I think in the morning, when everyone's awake, we shall do the um, the object acquisition mission. We'll get one of those done. In come all the wonderful cakes. Loads of people sat at the back. <laughs> come and sit at the front. Come on. Come on, troublemakers. Praise be to the star maker. Right, there we go. Three stars. Wonderful stuff. Yes, please. That's all very good. Right, now everybody goes and has their evening off, which is nice. Just think about how big the sacred sponge recipe is. Indeed, it is big and perfect as well. There it is. There is the sacred sponge recipe. The most holy of words written down here. I think... Uh, 
think Daniel just went to have a little, little tiny glimpse at it, just to, you know, just to become slightly better at making the sponge. But I think that is it. Everyone heads off to bed. Oh no, we have one broken thing. Now the annoying thing is somebody in the comments said how to sort this out. They said, ah, this is how you sort that out. And it was probably a very sensible idea, but I cannot remember for the life of me what they said. Do you know what? It's probably easier to just, <laughs> just bin the bed and rebuild it. We've got 16 and a half thousand monies. So whose bed is it? Alexander's. Okay, right, hang on a sec. Um, let's just get rid of that and put bed back in. I mean, that might have been slightly wasteful, but it's fine. And then if we just go to Alexander and assign you, oh, that, that's slightly trickier to do. Assign you that bed through that gap. There we go. Everything is fine. Alexander can come back to bed. Everything is splendid. Oh, a pop. Hang on, what? <laughs> Which bed? Hang on, what? Is it not that bed? Oh, hang on. Which bed did I just get rid of then? I'm very confused. Where's Alexander? Alexander, he's over there. <laughs> he's in a bed. I think he went to sleep in Felix's bed. I think that's Felix's bed because Felix is our newest recruit. But he just found a bed and went, do you know what? That'll do. Um, okay, that, that's sort of fine, I think. <laughs> it's okay. Slightly unexpected, but but right you are, game. So one thing we haven't looked at recently are the divine inspirations. We unlocked a few of these things fairly early on, not long after we built the inner sanctum or whatever it is. We unlocked, I think it was hats, wasn't it? We unlocked some new hats and we unlocked the infernal heat room over there. But then we kind of stopped. We didn't really do much else with it. But a few people in the comments have said, can you please go back and have a look at the divine inspirations? Because, you know, they are kind of fun and they're sort of interesting. So right now we can get Penge Cupboard to work on one of two of these things here. He can either unlock the option for us to spread darkness missions or he can unlock the option for us to have darkness object acquisition missions. I mean they both sound very interesting. They both sound very good indeed. I mean this one here if we have this that adds 16 to our theme rating and this little thing up here says additional divine inspirations will become available at 300 darkness rating. Currently we've got 60. So we haven't got very much at all. That's not great, is it? So we'd have to do a lot of these missions here to try to get up to 300 rating. But I think, given that Penge Cupboard, you know, he's had he's had a long time off, I would say. He's had a long time of just, you know, sitting about, kicking back, occasionally doing a sermon, all that kind of stuff. He's had a lot of a lot of downtime, I think. So let's actually get him doing some work. The Lord of the Bait can actually go and research this stuff. So, um, yeah, 10 faith, 50 influence. That is neither here nor there. So, yes, please, let's get those unlocked. That could be quite handy. Assign personnel. Oh, hang on, we've already unlocked it. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've already unlocked this. It's now just a thing that we can do actually on the map. Oh, hang on, right, there we go. Let's assign a cakeist then. So what do we need? Um, empathy, espionage, and retail. Okay, I mean, Abigail is not looking good because she has a complete lack of any empathy. Um, okay, Ryan... Ryan could be good, 70% chance. Tom, 70%. Felix, nothing at all. They're on cooldown, unfortunately. Quite a few people on 70%. I mean, I don't know what happens if we fail. I'm not so bothered. Do you know what? Tom, you don't go out very often. Tom, you can go and do this. You go and begin the mission. Um, you're, going to the, you're going to the firehouse. I mean, when I saw that, I thought Ghostbusters HQ, but there we go. So you go to the Ghostbusters HQ and you're increasing your theme rating by throwing specially painted eggs at the fire station. Okay, should we not be using those eggs to, you know, make cake or something? Um, fine, okay, begin that mission. You give that a go, Tom, and we'll see how you get on. And I think he's done. The mission is done. The Divine Inspiration meter is full, but there's not a sort of exclamation mark above it telling us anything about that. But okay, right, let's go to the mission. So here we go, spread darkness and of course yeah we're using dark flour or whatever and making cakes out of dark chocolate for this um, okay so let's turn the mission in and there we go our dark theme has gone up we acquired a few bits and bobs heat did creep up unfortunately but never mind that's okay so there we go so we've done that so now that's gone up to um hang on what was it again oh it's down there isn't it that's gone up to 76 and we need to get that up to up to 300 Okay, oh, but we can have a pentagram top. Kakis can now wear a new outfit, plus five theme ratings. You know what, we might as well get that done. Do that, it doesn't take long, I don't think. There we go, that gives Penge Cupboard something to do. 
And also the Hypno Chamber is now available because we've unlocked that, which is very good. So I think we were heading over toward, yeah, Faith Cap 2. We shall have that, please. Thank you very much. Um, what does Circular Saw do? What does that do? Increases repair speed. Okay, I mean, that is quite useful. It's quite a handy thing. It's not essential. I don't think it takes that long to repair things. But do you know what? It, yeah, it's a nice thing to have. It increases efficiency the tiniest, tiniest bit, which is no bad thing. But uh, but yeah, I don't think we need to kind of make a beeline for that, really. So when we have the pool of revelations, where do we go from there? It might be sensible to get discombobulation therapy, just because it's fun to say, and then get this faith cap down here. In fact, hang on. Hang on. Are we get we're getting faith cap two before we've unlocked faith cap one. <laughs> okay, what does that do? Oh, just another 250 faith. Okay, that does seem a little bit weird, but right you are, game. Okay, if we've got to do it that way, that's absolutely fine. Um, okay, so yes, there we go. So we're going to um, we're going to start working on Faith Cap 2, which is all fine. And one thing that we are going to look at now, this was pointed out in the comments, and I was completely and blissfully unaware of this. So as we've been doing lots of research, things have popped up that said you know, stuff like, hey, you can now have better influence gain from sermons, or you can get better faith gain from sermons. And I thought, you know, perhaps, perhaps naively, I don't know, that that would just apply. That would just apply to all of the things, all the sermons that we do from that point forward. I thought it was like a universal thing that would just apply. Apparently it's not. Apparently we have to switch things on and off in the sermon tab just here. So yes, we can do various bits and bobs. So here we go. So there's only a few unlocked. So we can do a faith boost. So we can pay 55 influence to get an extra 61 faith every time we do a sermon. And that's kind of all we can do right now. Oh, I thought we'd unlocked more things. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we'd unlocked way more things. I mean, some of these are very good. Purge negativity. That sounds quite handy. Kekis will not experience negative thoughts, conversations, or dream moods for 48 hours. Oh, that's very good. That's a skill boost. Plus one bonus to each skill for 48 hours. That is 110 influence, but that's really good. And then and then a trait gain as well. There's a 5% chance they could gain traits. Okay, these are all really good things. These are all very good things. We just haven't unlocked the required research things to actually get them done yet. That's a shame. Okay, so I don't think we need to switch that on because we have quite a lot of faith right now. Faith is, uh, faith is not an issue. I would rather keep the influence... And, um, yeah, not do anything with faith. I don't think it's worth that trade-off quite yet. However, what's that there? Sermon type. Standard and altar required. Ah, I wonder if that's what we're working toward up here. I wonder if we get to 300 theme rating, we can then unlock an altar, like a dark theme altar, that can go into here, which then means we can change the sermon round to some sort of, you know, slightly sinister sounding dark theme sermon or whatever. I wonder if that's the that's what happens with that. But yeah, we can't change it right now. Okay, there we go. Right, so we took a look at that. I was planning on changing something, but then it turns out that there's no point changing anything and everything else that we want to change, we haven't actually got access to yet. So never mind, but now at least we know that we can change it at some point in the future when we have the required tech. Oh, this isn't very good at all. I've taken my eye off the ball with this. Yes, unfortunately, we are out of food, out of proper prepared kitchen food. So I imagine everyone's going back to eating stuff from the horrible vending machines, you know, horrible vending machine cake, which nobody's going to enjoy. I think, yes, let's order some more food in, please. Let's order um, the maximum amount of burger ingredients we can get. Now, normally you'd look at that and think, oh my goodness me, $1,000. But the money is no longer an issue. We are acquiring money at an alarming rate. So we've got $23,000. So yes, order some ingredients in, please. There we go. We have some ingredients. Marvellous. And then hopefully, yeah, we can get on with making some burgers. Yeah, the gruel's gone, the burgers have gone, and we haven't unlocked access to, uh, you know, cake that's in the shape of meat and vegetables quite yet. So there we go. Never mind. So yeah, look, everyone's going to the rubbishy vending machines, which do cost us $15, $15 a time. So, I mean, again, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. The, uh, the cost isn't an issue, but it's the fact that it's rubbish food and it affects their mood a bit their mood might be down. Oh no, is this going to affect the sermon? No, it's still a three-star sermon. Good job, everybody. Good job. That's very impressive. I like that. How are we doing with this? Divine inspiration in progress. Naught out of 40. Well done. Well done, Lord of the Bake. <laughs> he's just not bothered. He's just not bothered at all. Oh, maybe he's in a huff because his shower's broken. Maybe he's having a little bit of a strop and he's refusing to work until he can have a nice shower. I don't know. Do you know what we were going to do? We were thinking... 
now I've got a load of money. We were thinking of getting a sort of a, a bathroom over here, weren't we? So if anybody is over here, they don't have to go all the way over there to go to the loo. They could just go boop and go round the corner over here. I think that is what we'll do now. Because we have got a great big pile of money. And we're just waiting for research and missions to do their stuff. So hang on, let's grab Brick Foundation. And we'll just sort of put that like that. There we go. It's a massive block. And we've still got 18 grand left. <laughs> so that is a bit silly, really, isn't it? Right. And then we'll delete that wall there. Because that can be a great big corridor going down the middle. And then we'll just have a big bit like that. And then, yeah, do you want to make that a bathroom? I think that might be worth doing. I, mean, I don't know if we need to have showers and stuff in there as well. I think they shower they shower in the morning and stuff. I don't think we need showers in there. I think we'll just have, oh, someone's injured. I wonder why. Is it because they're not washing their hands? Yeah, because they're not washing their hands. Oh, uh, <laughs> dear. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, this is all fine. Oh, someone else is injured. Green slime excretions. Oh, uh, that's, okay, that's really horribly unpleasant. Okay, maybe we will put a few showers in over here. Just, you know, just to make sure that people can you know, have a wash if they need it, if they have green slime. Um, right, so do that. We shall get ourselves a lovely door. Pop the door. Uh, I don't know. There, that'll do. And then designate this as a bathroom, please. And then go over to there. And, uh, so, oh my goodness me. Hang on a second, hang on. Somebody else is injured. Tom! Tom, you're injured as well. Three injured people, all from not washing their hands, despite having a vast, vast array of sinks for them to use. I mean, one of the sinks is broken. I mean, somehow, somehow there's smoke coming out of that sink. I don't quite know how that happens, but there we go. Um, Yeah, that, that's, that's not good, is it? That's not good, folks. You're all grown-ups. You should know how to wash your hands properly after you've been using the, uh, using the facilities. You should not be having dirty hands. Um, how are we doing over here? Have we got any food prepared? We've got... I know, but no one's going to work yet, of course. Right, let's get this bathroom set up, because we should be able to do this very, very easily indeed. So if we get some proper toilets... We'll put them across the top again. We'll just do what we did before. There we go. Oh, we're going to have a slight weird bit at the end there. There's no point putting a dividing wall there. Um, hang on. And we will do that. I like... Oh, hang on, it's not a foundation, is it? I like the fact that we have our dividing wall thing. So we'll just pop those in like that. That one can just feel a bit more spacious at the end there. That's absolutely fine. And then we will have ourselves some sinks across this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sinks. That should be okay. And then over here, we will put some showers. We'll put some showers in. I'm not quite sure which way around the showers are supposed to go. But we'll put, um, we'll put some showers... And I put one, two, three, put four in over there. And we will put a drain just there. We need another shower now, just to make that in the middle. Um, and then what else can we put in there? There was mirrors, wasn't there? But we haven't got this, this room isn't as big. We could put a mirror in the corner, I suppose. That'd be quite nice. I think it's under decor. Is it under decor? I suspect it's right at the bottom. Yeah, tall mirror. Let's pop that right in the corner. And there we go. People can go to the loo over here if they need to now, which hopefully might save a little bit of time. That could be very handy. And do we have somebody in the kitchen? Yes, we do. Megan is over here frantically trying to cook burgers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Megan. I'm sorry, Megan. I know you're not great at this. You're giving it a go, look. Um, yeah, it's working. 21, 22, 20... Three. Yeah, okay. Do you know what, Megan? You're doing okay, actually. You're doing a grand, grand job. Uh, go for a shower. Have a little shower there. Yep, absolutely. Get nice and clean. Uh, and then go to the loo. Right, are you going to wash your hands, Megan? Because you are... Yes, you are. Well done. Well done. It's a bit weird you turn away. You turn away to use the sink. Lots of people in the comments pointed that out. But that's fine. I'm not bothered. As long as you are washing your hands in some way, shape or form, I do not care how you do it. If you turn around to wash your hands, as long as they are clean, when you leave the sink, that is all good by me. Because, uh, yeah, we've got some injured people going around the place. And they're all self-inflicted injuries. So, uh, yes, if we could just, you know, wash our hands, that'd be lovely. Oh yes, we were going to do some missions, weren't we? And I completely forgot. How about we do another heat reduction mission? That could be quite useful. So um, Amy, 
you're probably okay at that sort of thing. And Elisa, 100% chance of success. Yeah, you two go and do that quick. And I think by the time you get back, it will be sermon time. So you're not going to miss out at all. Bit of a uh, sort of angry face person down there. Again, complaining about the lack of bus services. Right, so the mission is underway. Oh, and somebody's leveled up. It's Felix again. Okay, Felix, empathy and retail. And that is your maximum level, Felix. Okay, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You, you've leveled up a bit and you've done a very, very good job, Felix. I suspect maybe at some point we might have a position for you over at the uh, the Grand Bakery in the countryside. I, I think I think they've asked about you, Felix. So you might one day go over there, uh, you know, maybe one day sooner rather than later. You might go over there and just, you know, have fun at the Grand Bakery over in the countryside. I hear it's lovely. I hear everyone gets a lovely, nice bit of cake at the start of every day. But, uh, but yeah, right now you can stay where you are. We've got some research done. There we go. We can have a bit more faith. Right, and now, there we go. We can now get the Pool of Revelations. I mean, you know, we sort of, we sort of could get it before, but I felt like that was sort of cheating. Ooh, Meditation Studio Upgrade, however. Oh, that's exciting. Hang on, how long does that take? Tw 27 hours, my goodness me. Uh, and that's 24 hours. I wouldn't mind upgrading one of our existing rooms because we haven't done that yet. Do you know what? This is fine. A slight detour from our original plan. That's fine. A slight detour. Improvisation. You know, going with our gut. Doing things on the fly. That's all that stuff. Um, and somebody's injured. Megan has a throbbing forehead. Okay, is the mission... How's the mission doing? Oh no. They're going to miss out on the sermon. You're going to miss out on the sermon. Hang on. Come on. Do your mission quicker. Do your mission quicker. Right. Mission done. Turn in heat reduction mission. So, uh, yay. We went and... What did we do? We explain what the word coincidence mean, uh, means at the attorney's office. Okay, I'm sure that helps. Our heat has come down, down by 45. Our heat is now 77. That is very good. And now we need to make sure they at least get back for a bit of the... Okay, they didn't get back for any of the sermon. Bother. I thought they would be back in plenty of time. Oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I do apologise. Amy and Elisa, I'm, I'm very sorry. I thought that would have worked out slightly better, but... Uh, but alas, it did not. Okay, a brand new day has rolled around. Quite a few things are falling apart around the place. We've got a broken sink over there, two broken pews, and this is being repaired right now, but a broken, oh, a broken ruble cubal puzzle. Oh dear me, it's a disaster. But there we go. Right, so things are slowly being repaired and we can go and do some more missions. I think our heat is very, very low right now. Let's go and do a PR campaign. Let's go and do another PR mission. Now, who could be quite good at this? 45. That's no percent chance. That's 45. Emma, I don't think... Why are Emma's stats so bad? Oh, she must be injured. Ah, she has a throbbing forehead. That sounds thoroughly unpleasant. Um, Claire. Claire only has a 40%... Uh, 40, whatever it was. 45, was it? Um, Alexander, you must be good at this. Yeah, 100%. So, Alexander, you go and participate in a public wannabe segment about painting your house wrong at the TV station. Again... Does it mean the wrong colour or does it mean physically like not being able to paint your house? Like you're holding the paintbrush the wrong way and you're realising the handle really isn't doing that whole painting job very well. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But um, Alexander, you pop off and have a little, have a little trip out. Go and do that mission, please. That would be wonderful. And there we go. The mission is done. I imagine it's a total success. Splendid stuff. Right, so PR is now up to 580. This is going very well. And our heat is not even over 100. That is perfect stuff. Okay, so can we now do an object acquisition mission? We're going to go over to the factory and use pity tactics to try and get some objects. We're just going to sort of look at people with big eyes and look a bit sad and uh, kind of you know look a bit desperate and hope that people give us some nice things. Um, okay, do you know what? Can we do this? They've got a cool... Ah, they've got a cool down. That's a shame. Okay, so Abigail and, yeah, I don't think, I think we might need our two. We might need Amy back with somebody else. I think Amy is going to be the best person for it. I don't see anybody else. In fact, hardly anybody has got any of the skills required. It, um, yeah, that's quite a low percentage chance there. We might have to wait. We might have to wait to get the, uh, some fancy new objects. That's fine. We're in no rush for them. They're just quite nice things to do. And of course, it's another mission. It's another mission for people to go on, which, you know, gives them something to do, I suppose. I mean, down here is looking amazing. We've got so much stuff, so much money, so much faith, so much influence. It's all looking absolutely amazing. We're going to save up some money 
so we can uh, make our meditation studio a little bit better. Although I think we can't do too much with it. We can get a meditation gong, and that's it. It increases resource gains and the amount of meditation mats. Ah, so we can have three more mats. That's quite handy. So three more followers can come in here and do some lovely meditation. And of course, make the sacred shape of the cake. And um, yeah, then we get more stuff from them as well. We get more money and influence and all that kind of stuff once the gong is in there. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, yeah, I think we'll get that probably tomorrow, I imagine. But right now it's sermon time. The Lord of the Bake is speaking. He's telling everyone to shut up. I imagine somebody's, um, somebody's talking at the back there. It's probably these three at the back. And there we go. Splendid stuff. We've got some PR. It's all looking very good. Cakeists are unsure the star baker is listening all the time. Really? Really, really? The star baker is always watching, folks. The star baker is always watching. Oh, somebody's somebody's not in a good way. Who is that? Is that Ryan? Ryan, what is wrong with you? You need something to eat, Ryan. There's a there's a, a whole load of food over here. Go and get some lovely cake that's in the shape of a burger. There you go. Splendid. We could do with some more. We could do with this room being better, really, couldn't we? Can we fit anything else into here? Um, we have got at least one of everything in there, I think. We could put another slot machine in. We've got the money for it now. Let's pop another slot machine in just there, just in case we, you know, there's two people that like playing on slot machines. There's now you know, availability for them to do that at the same time. And they can have a lovely chat while they play about slot machines. Oh my goodness me. Right, we have multiple bed breakages. So up here we've got Amy's bed. And down here is Abigail's bed. So Amy and Abigail. Um, again, we could we could go and repair them. But because I'm lazy and I can't remember how how the person in the comments said to repair them properly. Uh, we'll just do this. That's absolutely fine. So hang on. Room specific objects. Get a bed. Your bed was there. Your bed was there. One of those was... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we assign the bed? Or do we need to go to the person? Uh, one of them was Amy's. And one was Abigail's. I don't think it matters which one. I think Amy's one was the Amy's one was the top bed. We can just about see it. And then Abigail's was the one underneath, just there. There we go. Okay, so a slightly more expensive way round of doing it, but it's fine. And there we go. You can go to bed, you two. So they might be a little bit tired in the morning, which is unfortunate, but never mind. And how is the divine inspiration looking? Thirty-five out of forty. So Penj Cupboard has nearly, finally, at long last, worked out how to make a bit of outfit. <laughs> Everyone else is doing like amazing research, going around doing wonderful things, figuring out these fancy new rooms and technologies. And Penj Cupboard's, you know, doing a little bit of fashion designing. It's taking him ages. <laughs> okay, Penj Cupboard, you are the lord of the bake. You just take your time. So a few of you might be wondering what the current situation is with Jeff Bland, also known as Todd the Spicy. You know, the guy who runs the tax dodging cult down the road. And the truth is, we haven't really heard much from him recently. It's been quite quiet, I guess because he's keeping out of the way. He's keeping a low profile. He's keeping his head down because we did reveal the truth about him to the world not too long ago. So I guess he's just, you know, waiting for it all to blow over and then he will be back doing whatever he's doing. But we did what we did. We revealed the truth about him for all the right reasons, I feel. We did it for all the right reasons. We wanted the truth to be out there. We wanted people to know, you know, what they were going in for if they did join the tax dodging cult. We wanted people to know the truth about the person that runs that place. And also, we wanted to do the right thing for Jeff himself. We wanted Jeff to be able to be himself and not be this other persona. We didn't want Jeff to have to hide behind the Todd the Spicy name anymore. We wanted Jeff to come forward and be Jeff Bland. And so, yeah, we did it all for the right reasons. So, as a little bit of a a little bit of a helping hand, maybe, maybe to show Jeff the right way, you know, show him a path, maybe. We made him a cake and we sent him a lovely, lovely cake. It's a massive cake. It's a three tier, wonderful cake. It's a nice sponge cake. It's got icing on. It's got lots of fancy little sort of flowers on it made out of icing. They're all very intricate and very beautiful. It's, it's a classic, lovely, very nice cake. It's not a trick cake. It's not an exploding cake. It's not a spy cake. It's not got laxatives in. It is a lovely, lovely cake that we're sending him as a sort of you know, means of maybe you know, sort of an olive branch, possibly, just to say, do you know what, Jeff? We're here for you. If you need to come over here, if you want to be shown the one true path to enlightenment via cake, then you are most welcome, Jeff. So we'll see what happens with that. We shall see whether Jeff, also known as Todd, accepts our cakey gift or whether he, I don't know, throws it in our face, eats it, doesn't tell us, whatever. I don't know what he will do with it. But yeah, we've made that move there. We've made the move toward Jeff, 
So let's see what he does with the lovely cake that we've sent him. And exciting news, I think we've finally worked out how to make a new top. Okay, right, so we get plus five theme rating. So back to Divine Inspirations. That's now up to 81. So all we need to do is get that up to 300. I mean, look at this. It's 18. Well, that's 18 a time, actually. That's 18 a time. I wonder if having some darkness ornaments might help a bit. I wonder if that might help get our get our theme rating up ever so slightly by having specific darkness theme objects dotted around the place. Let's go and do that, shall we? Let's add one of those missions to the map because I, we've not done one of those yet. So uh, where would it be? There's, yeah, there we go. An object acquisition mission, but it's got the little sort of dark theme face on it. So here we go. Who is going to go and do that? Amy? On her own, she can do it, but it needs two people. Let's send somebody else out for fun. Um, Emma could probably do it. I mean, is it worth sending anybody? Is it worth sending anybody who's rubbish at it? Because the chance is 100%, you know, there's a, a total success chance. Or are they going to get arrested? They might possibly get arrested. Let's send Megan. She's got improvisation and she's got butchery. So she could be quite good at this. Um, yeah, okay. Begin that mission, please. There you go. Off you pop. You go and do that. And I think what we might do, let's do a little bit of work down here. Um, I mean, we have got loads of money. Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we just get this entire thing full of foundation? I rather think we can. There we go. We've filled that entire block in and we've still got 16 grand left. <laughs> we have much in the way of money, everybody. It's all very nice indeed. Right, so let's delete that wall there because I'm seeing us having a kind of corridor coming all the way down here and across like that. In fact, you know what? Let's get, let's get that built now. We might as well build it right now because, again, we've got the money. So bring that in like that that in like that and then that could just go straight across like that I suppose and I think maybe along here somewhere oh hang on delete those walls along here let's get our covert ops room in because we can have a covert ops room um we just haven't got one yet so I think let's just I don't know I don't know how big to make this we'll put that in like that for now what do we need so we need a locker a desk and a board it sounds very exciting okay so a planning desk that says, oh, I like this. It's proper, it's proper covert top stuff. They've got a little desk with flags on and everything <laughs> around the sort of town map. Okay, I like that. And then a planning board could go right there. And then the locker could go there. So that room could in theory be a tiny bit smaller. Although the prestige is a bit bigger, a bit higher, sorry, when you have a slightly bigger room. Do you know what? That's fun. We're not pushed for space, are we? We're not pushed for space. And then we could put some decoratives along there. Yeah, okay, I like that. So let's get us, let's get a brick wall going down there. We might need a door. A door might help for this, mightn't it? Uh, let's have a door with no no um, windows in it because, you know, covert ops room, top secret stuff going on in here. And there we go. We have a room already in. Oh, do you know what we do need? Hang on, hang on. Objects. Oh, yes, and somebody pointed something out. We forgot something very important. So pictures. Uh, we'll have a leader picture, of course. Um, and we'll have a leader picture in there, very important, but apparently in the new bedroom, we do not have a picture of our glorious leader penge cupboard. So there we go. We now do have a picture of our glorious leader penge cupboard right there in that room. Um, okay, let's just see what this room does then. I imagine at some point, somebody's going to run in and do some covert op stuff. I think it helps with missions, doesn't it? So we've got a mission underway right now. I don't think we can do anything with the covert ops room as it stands. But uh, but yeah, next time we do a mission, we'll see what we can do with this place. And very excitingly, it looks like our research is done. Let's just scroll over a bit. There we go. Meditation studio upgrade is done. So now we should be able to buy the thing that was over. What was it again? A gong. A meditation gong. It's one and a half grand. It's fine. We can afford one of those. Uh, oh, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Let's put that. Let I think. Hang on. Hang on. Let's move the little radio thing. Can I move the radio thing? Move that down to here and then get the gong and put that there. Let's not put it in the way of our, you know, the picture of our wonderful illustrious leader. But, oh, hang on. That doesn't look right though, does it? We might need to move the picture of our illustrious leader and then move the gong over to a slightly more, oh, it's not really centrally the way, is it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, never mind. We'll move it there. Right, so now I've got a gong and that means we can have three more mats. Okay, so where... Oh, hang on a minute. We might need to wait for everyone to leave this room. Hang on, let's see... Oh, there we go. He's, he's just cleared off. Right, this is good. This means we can This means we can move stuff around a bit. So if we put some against the edge there, then we can have 
one, so we can have another three. Hang on, so we can have, yeah, this is perfect. One and two and three, and now we can't put any more in, but there we go. That is more room for more followers to come and do more lovely meditation and make the sacred shape of the cake, which is excellent stuff. Although people seem to be going home about now. I mean, bye-bye, everybody. It's lovely. Look at the money coming in from the person out on the street. That is wonderful stuff. That is very silly. Um, and so, so Tom, Tom just, you know, doing all this stuff for one person. But you know what? That's fine. That one person has become even more enlightened and you know, even more prepared for the ways of the cake. And, you know, if one person, if one person is given the path to true enlightenment, then that is better than no people. And I completely forgot about the mission at the factory. I do apologise, whoever we sent on the mission. I'm really sorry. Hang on, there's two people. <laughs> They've just been, just been sort of waiting patiently at this factory. Uh, turn that in. Okay, so we got, we got a dusty tome. It doesn't sound that exciting, doesn't it? It does not sound like that was worth the trip. And of course, these two people have missed the sermon. The only reason I remember, because I saw that and thought, it looks a bit empty. Why haven't we got all our people in? Oh, they're waiting at a factory for us <laughs> for ages. Um, okay, never mind. And we need to pick our next lot of research. Sort of forgot about that as well. Right, we were going for the Pool of Revelations. Let's get that. Yeah, let's get the Pool of Revelations research done. It's going to take ages, but that's fine. That will be a very handy room. So when we start getting our um, PR up a bit more, we might get even better followers. And then if we can reveal their traits with this room, that means we can get you know, some decent people in. I mean, not to say that everyone here isn't decent and wonderful, but we can get people in with slightly better traits than the ones we have now, shall we say. And we're out of food already. Oh my goodness me. Can we not automate this somehow? Can we not just make this automatically happen? Okay, we'll order some more burger ingredients, please. Yeah, we must have, we must have gone through all of those burger meals already. Wow. Okay, I mean, at least they're popular. At least the cakey burgers are a popular thing. Um, but yeah, we just keep running out of ingredients. There is a thing we can research, isn't there? There's a fridge or a freezer or something, which means we can store more things. It might be worth heading toward that in terms of our research once the, whatever it was, the divine inspiration room has been sorted. The pool of revelations room. You know what I mean? The room where we can find out whether people are really good or really bad. Okay, so day 37 is here, a brand new day. So let's go and do a mission and see if they start using the covert ops room because I would like to see what they look like whilst they're in here. So let's go and have a look. What do you want to do? Heat is quite low. We've got an object to put down. So let's do a PR campaign, shall we? So we need two more people. Ah, this could be an issue. Right, so Elisa and Alexander. Nope, they're both terrible at all, that kind of stuff. Do we have anybody that's good at this that isn't Amy? No. Okay, Abigail's got a bit of espionage, but we might want to put her, if she's got good espionage, into the um, into the sort of uh, fancy covert ops room. So I, I don't know if we're going to have a good combination of people with this. Um, no, we've got we've got zeros. We've got zeros across the board. I think we need Amy. Ah, botherations. Okay, never mind. Do you know what? If we can't do a PR campaign mission, why don't we do an object acquisition mission? We might be able to get one of these done because we have Alexander here who has a 70% chance of success, but there is now a start covert operation button that's lit up. So what happens if we do that? What happens with this? If we just press that button, right, so we're starting a covert op. Who, who is doing that? Like, how does this work? I assume now somebody's going to run into here. So here we go. Let's move time on. So somebody's going to run into this room and look at the board, look at the top secret blueprints. And is there anybody coming into there at all? I don't think anybody is. How, how is that doing anything? 0% complete with the covert op. Um, I mean, we haven't got anybody assigned necessarily, you know, specifically to that room, but I thought maybe somebody might come in. I thought maybe somebody might poke their nose in and go, oh, hang on a minute, I'll help out. But um, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. That's definitely not doing anything at all. <laughs> oh dear, do you know what? It's fine. It, we'll just leave that for now. We might need to revisit that at some point in the future. Because, yeah, we've not got that room properly in use yet. I and mean, we can get another cakeist. It might be worth getting another cakeist on board. I mean, we'll need more bedrooms. But I'm thinking we could put bedrooms along here somewhere. Um, get another cakeist. And then we could deploy them to work specifically in here when that is required. You know, we can maybe give them high priority on that room. So when we need a covert ops person, they'll run in and do covert opping. But, and, you know, they can do other stuff whilst there's not a need for that room. I think that's what we might have to do. 
Um, yeah, it says there the Kobo tops is at zero percent. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not gone entirely correctly, has it? Never mind. And only a two star sermon as well. Oh dear. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Not brilliant, but uh, it could be worse. And I think what we'll do is just to finish things off, let's order as many burger ingredients as we can. How many have we got prepared? 50, oh, 57 is quite good. 57 should keep us going for a good long while. Okay, that's wonderful. So we're at the end of day 37. Uh, let's get it. Do you know what? Let's get it on to day 38, shall we? Oh, there's a big broken table. If we could fix that. That'd be nice. Right, there we go. Day 38 rolls round. And I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now on day 38. And then when we come back next time, we'll try and do some missions and we'll try and use the fancy sort of covert ops room. We'll see if we can make that do anything at all. Because right now, it's, yeah, it's a very nice room, but it's doing completely, utterly nothing. So we'll try and get that up and running at some point. But uh, but yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time. Oh, there's beds for us to fix as well. Oh, dear me. Right. Okay, do you know what? Joe, you know, we'll do that next time as well. We'll make sure that all the beds are repaired and everybody's all happy with life and everything else. And we'll do all that kind of stuff when we come back next time. But we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Honey, I Joined a Cult. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>